What's up guys exciting times just a few days away from WWDC. We have some news about the new foldable iPhones iPhone OS 14 is what will you be seeing here just a few days new naming structure. 14 years of refinement and we got some iPhone 12 news both good and bad, right was jumping. So if you hundred tracking numbers did go out last night. More will follow this weekend and all of next week so again for your patience and know you guys think about our Rebel Series Gen 2 closed case of the mythical John Prosser has shared the first ever public details of Apple's foldable phone project. Now there been various patents going back to 2016. Some even further which Apple could use for this but no actual design direction. Our concept we're showing is based on the Galaxy as the flip take this with a grain of salt is just what we can go off up to design this, and there's a separate version by Constant Creator, which is actually using the design details John Prosser gave us, which is that of an iPhone 11 rounded edge design, and the front will have a notch or more like a chin for all the face of the components, so soon it will have three displays. He says Apple like to iPhone, stuck together, which is exactly what I'm showing you, and will update the design as we learn more, but yes, Apple is working on foldable, and there are numerous patents regarding hinges foldable battery technology foldable display technology, using many different methods that Apple could be employing for this device, and didn't provide a time frame we know that Apple is working on this, and has been for quite some time. There's really no major demand for this device just yet Samsung has carved out a niche with their Galaxy Fold and the flip lineup will be further expanding on it, but Apple in its Apple fashion will arrive on the scene late, but maybe do things better. So moving on to iPhone 12 stuff another new cancer circulating now which are going out to case manufacturers and are being shared, many Twitter leaders have access to them, and there is conflicting information going around right now regarding the design features of the iPhone 12. Supposedly the iPhone 12 lineup will not be as impressive as the leaks have suggested, according to one Twitter leaker actually examining these cans, we can tell that they're definitely recent there and not the old December one from 2019, which have a smart A, supposedly, not even a smart connector due on Rui Twitter leaker, has shared that it's a 5G millimeter wave content, opening unclear how it will be finished, or if it will be visible on the surface. I assume it will be painted the same color as the antenna bands on the iPad Pro, and these molds pay completely different picture than leaks suggested in particular with the camera layout. It's not using the square camera layout. It's the original one from the 11 Pro Max but slightly larger different spacing, so the camera I believe is wrong here, that doesn't matter at all for a case manufacturers in the different Twitter leaker, is sharing these molds in metal, with glass planted on top of them. As you can see companies are already developing glass screen protectors and taking a look at that notch. The earpiece is not up against the border like we saw in the schematics John Prosser shared John Prosser's explanation is that case manufacturers don't need that much information. These are real cans that are just old and unfinished and will be updated so we'll see. I certainly hope so. I do not want to go another year with the old notch and by the way, this is a 5.4 inch mic to be this tiny, this is next to an iPhone 5. It's slightly smaller than the new South Carolina crazy crazy how small the footprint is on his phone. I certainly didn't realize it until printed and held in my hands just for point of reference, when the iPhone 11 lineup has leaked some time around this time last year, they were actually very close to the real deal Apple logo in the center, and all nobody caught that. So not saying that these cans are to be trusted, but they certainly hold more information than you expect them to actually taking a closer look at the 2020 lineup. The iPhone 11 Pro Max which do on Rui Twitter leaker saying will be the only iPhone to have a lighter sensor. This year, not the 6.1 inch 12 Pro certainly hope that's wrong too if Apple were to keep the same camera orientation. We assume the latter would be the iPad Pro size. This is to scale and planted somewhere in there next to that microphone. I guess that I hope that's wrong. Just speculation. There's a separate leak here of the schematic view of the iPhone 12 Pro 6.1 inch had no new information, but it does show that notch in better detail. I really really hope that Apple gets rid of them. I hope John Prosser is right, but if Apple were to shrink the notch this year would be seeing a shrunken notch for the next three years, but we're already hearing rumors about Apple removing it in, at least on one device in a small detail iPhone 12 Pro design which Max Leinbach is providing, is that they've elongated the camera shape slightly. It's a very slight rectangle now instead of the square is due to camera structuring on the inside some good news regarding 120Hz back is reporting that it's passed a second engineering test and is still good for launch. Meanwhile Apple rumors leaks might be doubting this feature will be reporting more as we learn, but so far so good, that goodness in the times is reporting that Apple is now looking to include the X60 Qualcomm modem in this year's iPhones, not next year as originally planned. 
These are more advanced than the originally intended X55 modems with a 5nm process, and they can aggregate both millimeter wave and some 6GHC at the same time to get you the best speeds once again being reported. This year's iPhones will arrive without wired your pots in the box, according to Wedbush analyst Dan Ives, is claiming that Apple is removing this feature, will sell more AirPods with it, and again from a separate leak, Apple may reintroduce a budget version of your pots to include with future version of the iPhone. The iPhone. This Wedbush analyst also believes that the iPhone 12. Despite the setbacks is still on track to launch in early October, John Prosser has also shared more details regarding air power. This D68 prototype which Apple engineers have been testing at home. He's saying they finally got the Apple Watch function working and has provided some pictures which Fudge has disputed Twitter leaker, saying that those were made by him. Despite this, John Prosser, saying the information is valid in a separate Twitter leaker, has found evidence, and I was 14 BC 26 or AirPower. Many wireless charger. This is something that was rumored by several different sources, Apple is working in a smaller wireless charger, and we might finally see a WWDC Wonderment has also published a report on Apple's Arkansas and VR future detailing further detailing the two devices Apple glasses and a VR gaming headset. Currently Johnny, I was unhappy with having a separate hub which the gaming headset had to connect to Apple engineers, ended up settling on a less powerful device, but being independent from separate hub in this gaming headset is going to have high resolution display. Cinematic speaker experience in the main input method will be Siri. No details yet on design other than it looks somewhat like the HTC system which is already on market margarine and says we'll get our first look at this in 2021, with Apple Glass being pushed to 2023, is based on the complexity of that system so VR first, and then an Arkansas headset and what new hardware might we expect WWDC new iMac. The R MacBook Air Pod Studio Air Tagus pump on many, and possibly an Apple TV for K, a separate Twitter leaker, warns us that we might see substantial delays to software and hardware to items announced at WWDC Ally was 14 may not happen, it will be called iPhone OS 14 Whittington John Prosser, which goes back to the roots. I was was only me and I was on I was 4 before it was iPhone OS, now that Apple has multiple versions of its software for different devices. It only makes sense for Apple to use this naming once again. I certainly am, in opposition of Apple renaming iPhone to Apple Phone. Hopefully that doesn't happen mysterious online leaker never seen this many new leakers new resources cropping up in that short time. Now there's a new one sharing the iOS 14 details in particular sharing AirTag sound effects with us. Sounds about right. This Twitter leaker is also claiming we might get iPod OS separate from iPhone OS, would make sense of that one is getting renamed also claims iPhone OS 14 might be released on September night orientation, and also that we might get a new mute switch toggle for the control center on iPhone, as leaker claims that found evidence pointing to the feature that Apple is bringing sidecar to a future version of iOS 14. Possibly not the initial version also has found mention of the iPhone 12 and the Apple F14 chip directly, and iOS 14. Who knew? And yes, I was is getting a dedicated sleep mode, so this is separate from bedtime mode is an actual switch in your control center, which fudge details will put your phone into a completely different mode, different than do not disturb, and more focused on sleep, especially since the Apple Watch Series 6 is gaining the sleep mode feature, so we here, along with a host of many different icons, go be Apple's Arkansas-based app. The range I was 14 has been shown at least the icon for it and some of the functionality. This is all developer where you really never get to see the stuff on the final bill, but still interesting to see behind the scenes and buried in the privacy policy of the iOS 13.5.1.16.6 or iOS 14 as originally rumored really excited for that feature, especially if it comes with Tesla integration. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video.